Hello everyone, I'm Alan West of EmbryonicArt.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up different effects in Ubuntu Linux and also how to change the bars and the docs in Ubuntu Linux. So first we're going to need to open up our Ubuntu Software Center. After this opens up, go ahead and type in doc and install the Cairo doc. After that's installed, we'll need to install the Compass effects. So go ahead and install Compass by typing in Compass. And here we'll see the Compass Configuration Settings Manager, uh, which I've already installed. Next, we're going to have to install the Synaptic Package Manager. So just type in Synaptic. And we'll install the Synaptic Package Manager. And that's pretty much all we need to do inside of the standard Ubuntu desktop setup. Uh, if you like, you can also go right click on the desktop and change your background, which I've already done here. And just click the little plus sign and you can add new wallpapers that you download to your pictures files. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log out of this desktop environment and then log into the Cairo doc desktop environment. So I'll be back in a minute. Hello, now we are back in the uh, Cairo doc desktop environment and a few things you might notice is the, the Unity bar is now gone and it's been replaced by the Cairo doc and a bar at the top. Um, there's a couple of things that I like to change whenever I get in here and uh, that is by right clicking on the dock itself in this little uh, area down here with the spacer, um, go into the configure settings uh, files and uh, we'll change some of the uh, configurations such as uh, one thing you'll notice is when you maximize a window it'll cover up the dock I don't really care for that so uh, the first thing I do is I reserve the space for the dock by changing that clicking apply and now when you maximize uh, any of your windows the dark dock at the bottom doesn't get covered up um, another different settings I like to change is I like to change uh, the first animation setting to rotate and the second animation setting to bounce and just apply those changes and as you can see now that you scroll over top of the um, dock at the bottom all of the icons rotate um, you might also want to change the different themes. Right now it's using the default settings on the themes. Um, this one gives you a uh, second bar at the top. One of them is a uh, task bar at the top and then the other one just has a uh, single dock at the bottom. Uh, some people like to have the extra uh, panel at the top. Um, <clears throat> some other nice settings in here that you can change to is you can change to uh, clear which if I apply that this will take just a second and when the dock loads back up it'll all be transparent of course as you can see it's also changed my effects to flame and it's removed the uh, 3d rotation off of it um, and of course if you go back and you change back to the double panel which is the default settings um, it will not uh, keep your previous settings that you had so you'll have to redo that by going back into the configurations and then changing this back to uh, 3D rotate and 
this one to bounce and then clicking apply and then it'll be back to the way you had it before. Um, you'll probably also have to change this back to reserving the space and clicking apply. Uh, another thing you might want to do while you're in the configurations is that you may want to also um, change the add-ons and add a recycling bin to the bottom. You just simply check the box and it'll add the recycling bin down here at the bottom. Um, there's a couple other things you can do while you're in here as well and that includes uh, changing the actual size of the menu bar itself and also its uh, location. So if you want the icons to be bigger you go into appearance and you check the bigger and then apply and it'll change the size of the icon. If you want them very large you can change them to very large, click apply. Um, you can change it from being 3D to curved, um, different types of layouts to the panels. I like to change mine to 3D, click at apply, um, but by default this particular panel is um, set to 3D. Next you may want to change the uh, size of the bar up at the top and to do that you simply go into the current items and the appearance and change it from tiny to big and click apply and once you click apply it changes the size of the bar at the top as well. Um, I don't really care for mine to be that size so I'm going to change it to uh, medium or maybe even small and then click apply. Uh, another thing you might want to do is also to lock these icons because if you don't um, you'll be able to move them around and you might accidentally drag one of them off of here. Um, so to do that you uh, go up to this bar at the top, right click, and click lock icons positions and now you will no longer be able to accidentally drag these icons. Another thing you may want to do is add additional workspaces. To do that you basically just go down here to work, right click on it, and then click add a workspace and uh, what this does is every time you add a new workspace it basically gives you a new desktop to work on. So I've got Firefox open in this workspace. If I want to move to the other workspace that doesn't have anything on it right now I can click that and then I can open up another uh, program such as like a messenger program or whatever I want and I can switch between the two. Okay, the next thing we're going to change is the compass settings. Click up here in the top and on the uh, Ubuntu icon and then type in compass and open up the compass configuration manager and click OK. Now scroll down to animations. We're going to change the uh, minimize and uh, unminimize to magic wave. So double click on it, click magic wave, go to the minimize, double click on this line right here, and then uh, select magic wave. The other two, uh, the open and the close, we're going to switch those to uh, do a glide or um, we can also set it to any of the other ones we wish. Um, go back to the main screen here. 
um, we're going to check the box for water effects. We double click on that. We can see that water effects say that you have to hold the control and the super button and control key and the super button is the windows key and you can see that it creates a uh, water effect on the screen. Um, if you minimize or maximize any of your open windows uh, now you get the magic lamp effect. If you want to add any additional icons down here at the bottom, there's a couple ways you can do it. One is by opening up the program that you want to add to the uh, bar at the bottom. So on this example, I'm just going to open up a Sudoku game. And I could go down here to this panel down at the bottom and right click on it and click um, make it a launcher. <clears throat> or I could go up to the panel up here, select the game, and drag it down to the bar. And it will make it into a launcher as well. Now if I decide to remove this launcher, I can either right click on it to remove it, or I can simply grab and drag it and let go, and it will remove it from the dock as well. Um, there's a couple other settings that you may want to change. Um, also, including uh, right-clicking on the desktop, uh, go to ch change desktop background, and uh, once this opens up, uh, we'll click on all, and then go into security and privacy settings, and uh, you can uh, uncheck both of these and then when you wake up your computer um, you won't have to enter in a password if it falls asleep so I go ahead and uncheck those um, you can check a bunch of other settings in here uh, if you want um, there's also uh, stuff for the Wacom tablet if you're an artist uh, but pretty much on the only thing I ever change in the security settings is unticking those two boxes